What's up, y'all? Welcome back. This is New Tune Day, and it's our first reel. It's a great standard session tune called The Mountain Road. Two-part reel, short reel, so hopefully it'll be one that's fairly easy to pick up. Stick around. <laughs> Let's dive right into the A part. This is a reel in the key of D, so that's good. We're used to D, hopefully. The first tune we played was in the key of D, so keep in mind we're thinking C sharps, not C naturals. But if I'm not mistaken, there aren't any C sharps in this, but we'll get to that in a second. But here's the beginning of the A part. Try that again. There's a lot of those bouncing phrases. That thing is a, is a real common uh, theme, I guess we could say, in Irish music, so it's good that we're picking this up, because that's the thing that'll, that'll pop up a lot as you're learning more and more tunes. That's one of those fairly common phrases that you'll hear a lot. Second section starts with a bit of a repeat, and then the last half is slightly different. Try that again. Did you catch that? How the beginning was the same? Here we go again. Now I'll play the whole A part all the way through. See if you can play along. And that whole section would repeat, so we'd play A, A, B, B, so that would be twice through the A part, and then we'd carry on with the B part. So here's the first half of that. Try that again. The second half, just like the second half of the A part, is a bit of a repeat, and then the second half of the second half ends a little differently. So that second half was really the same way as the A part ended, but I'll play that again. Cool. All together now, whole B part. That's the whole tune. Again, that section would repeat as well, so you get A, A, B, B. So that's the basic melody. I do want to briefly touch on some ornaments that you could start working in, because hopefully by now you've got a pretty decent handle on both slides and cuts from the last few ornament uh, lessons that we've done. So a couple of spots, like say on the A part, particularly that phrase, that section is kind of the hook. That's sort of like the, I don't know, the interesting part of this tune, I think anyway. So you might try working in a couple of those ornaments, like so. Where you're cutting each of those peaks, if you can look at it that way, if you're looking at it on the sheet music, the highest notes. Right? So you're sliding into that first note, and then cutting each of those top notes. There's lots of opportunities to, to mess around with this tune and working in some of those ornaments, and that's gonna be the homework for this week, is to play around with it and, and start working in some of those and seeing what, what sounds good to your ear. The other important take home piece is to go out and find other versions of this tune. I always stress that it's, it's really helpful to listen to other people play a, a melody that you're familiar with, because to me, to my ear anyway, it's a lot easier to pick up ornaments and variations and all that kind of stuff. And, and some of the style of playing, which is, a lot more than just the notes on the page. So that's the other part. Go out and find another version of this. It's a really common tune, a really popular tune, so you shouldn't have any trouble with it. I'll link one of my favorite versions down below. Check that out. And that's it. See you guys next week.
Cheers, y'all.